Hi, this is CNS and I'm going to show you some basics on Ableton Live 10 Suite. So this is the user interface that we're looking at. And I've got my latest track up here called Switch, which is available everywhere. I'll just open up these tracks so you can see what's happening there. And this is in arrangement view, which is what I like to use. I've, I like to see things all laid out in front of me like this. Um, the other view that is available in Ableton is called the session view and that's this view here and you just get to it by clicking on this um, circle here but you can also toggle backwards and forwards if you press tap so that's a quick little tip there uh, so this section over here is called the browser and this bit here is new this is a category section and I'll just show you with Ableton there's three different versions you can get. There's the free one, there's standard and this one is sweet and the sweet's got everything in it. So with sounds, get all these sounds here. So let's open it up. There's heaps of stuff in here, the sounds. There's drums, heaps of drums. Oh my god, that's insane. Instruments. Uh, I'm still learning this so um, drum rack um, to make your beats and still figuring it out impulse I've used a little bit sampler simpler operator a little bit uh, audio effects there's heaps in here I haven't used much of this at all I've played around a bit with ping pong delay that's kind of fun there's also MIDI effects, arpeggiator is really cool, the chord and the pitch I've used a little bit, Max for Live, I'm still not sure how to use that one, clips, there's heaps of clips here. The reason that I like to use arrangement view is so that you just click and drag it across and it pops up like this and you can have a look and see and, and listen and I just find it a lot easier to use. Uh, and samples, again thousands of samples, my goodness it's crazy at all the samples, again just click and drag, so easy then you've also got packs and with the suite you get heaps of packs, there's like thousands of samples in each of these it's just heaps of stuff, I haven't downloaded everything, that's why this section here is still greyed out. Oh, orchestra strings, I love orchestra, anything with orchestra, I love it, and the strings especially. Grand piano, I love grand piano. Sounds, look, it's so many folders. There's heaps of stuff in all that. Um, and these are just all the sample packs that I've got. Ill Mind, love Ill Mind, it's got, <laughs> I think everything is ever put out. Um, blues sessions, I love the blues. Because um, I do hip hops, a bit of hip hop stuff in there, heaps of stuff in all the folders. Ghetto gospel, I've got all the packs, I love that um, gospel stuff, it's beautiful. Um, movie packs, I love movie samples. Got all these D grade movies with the, the best clips in them though I just I love it I've, I think I've listened to every single clip in in each movie it's just amazing what you can hear and then when you hear a, a sample then you think oh I can make a beat around that it's really cool or it'll or I'll make a beat and then I think oh it needs a movie sample and then I'll just take me hours to go through those and find something that I like and then I'll put it in um, the beat it's amazing sound effects I love sound effects too they're really cool there's heaps of things in there so let's go back so um, this section here along here is called a track and over here is the mixing area uh, up here we've got the tempo and the time signature and this is the metronome the bars uh, here is play stop and record this is all about looping and over here this is for your MIDI keyboard I've used it once once or twice but 
I really like this one. I like to click and drag. I don't think I've ever really made my own sort of like beats. I think I've got a um, my own like like drums or anything like that. There's just so much to use in here. It's just easier to click and drag, but I'm still fairly new to it. So as I I learn. Um, I'll start making beats with the MIDI recorder or maybe even get push. And down here, this is the music timeline. So that's like 20 seconds, a minute. So this song goes for over three minutes. Move that along, there we go. And down here, if you have a look down here, there's this little arrow here. And if you click on it so that it's pointing up, you get this little information box. So if you want to learn what something is, uh, you just point at it and it'll tell you. So that's the time ruler. It's an audio clip. If you go over here, track activator. So at the moment, this track is on. But if I want to mute this and this is, um, these are the vocals here. I like to layer up my vocals. If I want to mute like the vocals, then I just click on it, so then this one won't play. Um, but if I want to solo it, if I press this one, that's for solo, that means only this one will play. For volume there, that's known as the mixing section. And if we go to session view, you'll see that all the mixing section is down here. And again, if you point to it, It'll tell you what it is. So peak level, track panning. So right, left, you just click on it. Track volume. Again, that's the track activator. So that's the drums there. So if I, oh, if we take the solo off. There you go. It shows you that they're all activated. Again, if you just want to uh, not play these drums, click on that. Or if you want to solo it. Let's see, it goes blue and then all the others go out. And just have that one. And so just point to it in and out section, output type. So it's really cool, that little pointer thing. I think that's pretty much just the basics I wanted to show you. If you've got any questions um, or any comments, just leave them in the comments section below and I uh, will answer your questions and see where we go from there. Enjoy making beats. Bye.